What is going on y'all? Captain Carr here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we we're leaving out of the industrial canal this morning. It's about nine o'clock, getting kind of a late start. This is the day after the uh, Hurricane Fred or Tropical Storm Fred or whatever. I thought the wind was gonna be blowing pretty hard, but it's actually kind of pretty out here. So we're gonna run out of the mouth of this canal here, see what the water looks like. If it's pretty, might go try for some triple tail. But before we get started with the video, if y'all wouldn't mind, please smash that like button for me. It really helps me out pushing these videos out for more people to see. And subscribe if you're new. If you love fishing, being out on the water, having a good time, this is the channel for you. So nevertheless, let's get to fishing, get a line wet, hopefully get a ride bent. Let's get to it. All right guys, so no luck at the buoys. I hit about five or six, no bites. Uh, just came across this little rip right here. Anytime y'all come across something like this, <clears throat> if you're triple tail fishing, make sure you spend a few minutes just kind of running down it. I've caught uh, many a triple tail on this kind of stuff. It looks like it goes a pretty good way, so we're gonna troll along it, see if we can find this triple tail on it. Oh, there's a baby y'all. Very small one. I don't know if y'all can see that. I might cast too and see if we can catch them and tag them at least. See if he wants to eat one of these finger mullets here. Pretty much ran right over top of them. Where did you go, little fella? There you are. Right out there. See if we can make a cast without spooking them. Slowly reel it to them. Oh, he just seen a mullet. <laughs> He's chasing it. I think he got it. Yep. Ooh, got him. <laughs> Baby triple tail. On a finger mullet. He was hungry. I'll go ahead and pop a tag in this joker and throw him back. I know he's not legal. I'll just yeet him in the boat real quick. Told y'all there's triple tail on this grass stuff. <laughs> ah, might need to get the net. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than I thought. Get in the net. I'm gonna throw you back, buddy. I promise. He's probably 17 inches, I'm guessing. Let's see what you measure. zero he is almost 17 inches we're just gonna pop a tag in them because they have to be 18 inches to be legal in alabama let's double check our measurement here zero we'll go ahead and call them 16 and three quarters got a tag here ready to go knock them scales off there you go tag triple tail a hey, pretty fish Time to go back in the water. All right guys, so the wind has picked up. We're back in the canal now. We're gonna try some flounder fishing. As you can see, I've got one rod here, one here, one here. And that's mainly just to cover some ground. So we're fishing on a big drop off right here. It's, it's 18 foot right here where we're at. There's a flat right over here. It's about 10, 15 foot all the way to about right here. And then it's a steep drop off. My theory is a flounder like to sit right there on the edge of that drop off. We're in an outgoing tide. They like to sit right on the edge and try and ambush a uh, mullet, bait fish, whatever that's going out with the tide. We're gonna give it a little time here. Flounder fishing, you gotta be patient. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get one on. All right y'all, so this is the uh, rig that I'm using here. Just a little quarter ounce weight swivel about a foot and a half of 15 pound test leader with a kale hook a good juicy finger mullet just casting her out I'm trying to work that drop off i'll let it sit i've got one rod sitting out one just got broke off i think it was a short but just slowly working this drop off here there's a bite 
Oh, that ain't a flounder. <laughs> Dang it. That's, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Something big, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. Yo. Jeez. I might as well break this. Ain't nothing I can do with it. I think it's a big stingray. Man, he is way out there. Yeah, I can't do nothing with this guy. Nope. There you go. Finally broke off. Man, that was a giant fish. Let him eat on it. Might be on there. Yep, there we go. Yep. Uh, not sure what that is. Decent fish. Got some weight to him. Dang catfish, I bet. Oh, it is a flounder. <laughs> it ain't a big one, but it's a flounder. Oh no. Get in the net. Get in the net. Yeah! Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Beautiful flounder right there. He is probably, let's see, 16 and a half inches. That is dinner, y'all. Dinner. He sure didn't hit like one, though. Kind of nibbled at it. Heck yeah, y'all. That's what we're after right there. First one, been fishing about 20, 30 minutes. He was actually over here in the shallower drop off. There's actually two drop offs. So we're gonna focus our uh, baits over this way now since we got him. Put him in the live Wellington. Oh, there's a thump. Oh yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Feels like a flounder. Grab this net just in case. Feels really nice. If it's a flounder, it's a good one, y'all. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Eh, he felt better than he is. That's a nice one there. Yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that flounder, y'all. Oh, he just hit me in the face. Yeah, buddy. We are in some flounder now. That is a little bit bigger one there. He is sitting at 17 and a half inches. There we go, y'all. Another 17 and a half inch flounder. That was the uh, second bite we've had today on a finger mullet. Man, he's gonna eat good. I'm gonna put him in the live with him. All right, y'all, we only managed to get those two flounder. The bite was pretty slow, but the goal was flounder and we did catch two. So I can't really complain too much. I've been trying to tell y'all I have bad days too. I just don't always post them. But anyways, before y'all go, I do want to bring up two things. One is this first sponsor to Captain Carter YouTube channel, which is Scenic Apparel. Y'all may have seen me wearing shirts and hats by them already. They're actually really good friends of mine, Michael and Nikki. They just started a uh, business up this year and uh, they're doing really good actually. They have some really unique designs, especially for the Mogul Bay, Dauphin Island area. They've got shirts with speckled trout, triple tail, redfish, all kinds of stuff. I'll drop a link in the description below if y'all want to go check them out and support a local business and support me, that'd be great. And also, like I said y'all, when I hit 1,000 subscribers and I did my first giveaway, I said we was going to do a second giveaway when I hit 2,000 subscribers. And I'm only like 100 away at the time of recording this right now. So I think we might get 100 more subscribers before December. So uh, I need y'all's help. What do y'all want for the giveaway? Do y'all still want to do a free fishing trip with me? Just go out and catch whatever, have a good time out on the water and uh, possibly do like a real fishing reel or some kind of fishing lures or equipment. Y'all just let me know, give me some feedback. Uh, I really enjoyed the fishing trip that I had on my last giveaway. So I wouldn't mind doing that. Always a good time meeting new people and catching fish. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. This channel has grown from like 250 subscribers like in January to almost 2,000. I can't express how awesome that is. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Please drop a like on this video if you would. Subscribe if you're new. Hopefully next video I can bring y'all some more action. Y'all be sure to go get a line with a ride bent and we'll see you back next time.